I am uh, sitting out here. Thought I'd make a little video to show you my um, plants here that I have going. I started uh, a little side project, if you will, doing some. Uh, I started a, a hydroponics company, uh, an LLC company, and um, I had a little couple things growing on my by myself too. Um, so I started a little bean plant. This is about growing it using a hydroponics way. Probably about a week of growth right here. Full bean plant. Um, I got another one sitting here in Rockwell. Rockwell's all smashed up, got smashed. But um, the beans sprouted out. They popped and exploded out. I've never seen them grow so fast. Um, I had a little problem the first time I did it uh, because I decided that I should make uh, that I should I should grow the plants inside my um, my washroom because I had a um, fluorescent light bulb and was uh, well lit and had a light timer and a fan timer and stuff inside of it uh, when we moved in for some reason I had that in there so I thought that was pretty cool though um, and I uh, used it to uh, as a grow room I guess if you will um, in there and uh, I ran into a little problem though and I thought I'd share that with you guys um, that do not ever if, if, just make sure your your areas that, that you're doing uh, you're growing in are, are sanitary or clean or free of any uh, anything on the on the bottoms or anything like that um, I took my my bean plant out and you just see there's like a little root right here that um, is popping out um, that little root on the bottom I and there's two little tiny Tiny roots, probably can't see them. Well, you can barely see them, right above the big one. Um, they, I put the plant down, and like I said, I put it in my washroom. But when I put it in my washroom, I um, didn't clean off the area, and somebody had spilt some detergent. Now, the detergent didn't cause normal effects. I was kind of confused on what the problem was. I didn't know if it was a pH. I didn't know if it was um, nutrients. I knew it wasn't water. Um, but I wasn't sure if the nutrients weren't good enough. I wasn't. Just, I didn't know what the heck was going on because it just caused them to uh, not even wilt in a normal way, but it caused them to um, just turn completely soft. They just softened up and became like limp lettuce. Um, it was really weird. Um, but somehow the detergent uh, affected the plants and just completely. I'm sure the pH level was just absolutely just shocked the plants into into death. Um, and so I uh, thoroughly flushed out the the rock wools and um, I got them growing on a uh, I got them got them cleaned out and then got some beans growing inside of them. But um, just make sure to sanitize your areas first and stuff. Um, this is a little tiny setup. This was a little tiny uh, inner liner, or quote unquote inner liner for a trash can. You put your sack inside or whatever, but I just took a oxy clean, oxy power stuff or whatever, some kind of uh, clothes washing stuff lid, put it on there, a Lando Lakes butter container, after I cut out the line, you can still see the marker line that I used, cut it out and put that in there, poked a bunch of holes in the bottom, put a air stone in the bottom, and uh, have my little tiny fish tank pump going, and um, that's what I got just for my little personal stuff. For my stuff that I actually sell, I don't uh, I don't use uh, that kind of system. The stuff that I, that I sell, just I guess a little shameless plug, I guess if you will. Just simple little um, uh, totes with uh, six. I do them. I can I put two more there for certain people that ask for them. Um, doesn't cost any more. Doesn't cost any less. Uh, to have eight, uh, so you have the one, two, three, four. And you'd have another one right here, another one right here, and then if you're six, you have eight um, planters. Comes with rock wool, stone, uh, the uh, the expanded clay pellets. Uh, comes with uh, the tubing. So everything that you need to, um, except for everything except for lighting, basically, to uh, do what you got to do. I use natural sunlight on my on my plants personally. I just, Natural is the way to go. Um, Water is natural. Nutrients are natural. Um, plants are natural, so I just go natural with the, the lighting as well. Normally, except for that, 
that accidental mishap that I had. So obviously that wasn't a good idea and a sign I shouldn't be doing uh, in-home in growing. I should just keep them uh, by a window or outside. But I just thought to tell you guys, make sure to sanitize your areas and stuff. And uh, just do. I thought it was kind of like a joke or whatever. People were just like, you know, don't sanitize your area. You don't want bugs or you don't want bacteria that will affect your plant um, greatly. I was like, yeah, blah, 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 whatever. Bacteria is, I, I'm around bacteria. Every human's around bacteria every single day. It doesn't hurt us. But with these plants, it does. It definitely does affect them uh, greatly. So make sure to do as you were told, if you will. Make sure to follow the rules of growing if you're going to grow. Have a good one.